Berkeley is known for its close proximity to San Francisco and its eclectic downtown. Here, 42,000 students attend UC Berkeley. It's also here where one of the most dangerous earthquake faults in America lies, and the East Bay is doing its part to prepare for the next big one. This much we know, California is overdue for a catastrophic earthquake. What we also know is seismologists are unable to predict when and where. The earthquake begins. To simulate, the Hayward scenario depicted what would happen if a 7.0 earthquake struck on the Hayward Fault. In that scenario, the USGS estimates around 800 deaths, 18,000 injuries, thousands of rescue missions, and thousands of people would be displaced. What this really gives us is a detailed um, look at what those impacts would be with real numbers that have been researched. And that's important because as an office like Cal OES, we're in charge of mobilizing first responders and other agencies to come in and, and uh, help support the communities in, in um, their life safety actions and in their recovery. Stretching 52 miles long, the Hayward Fault winds through cities such as Berkeley, Oakland, Hayward, and Fremont. Two million people live on the fault. The Haywide scenario is a wonderful framework for us to understand the true risk. Um, when you think about earthquakes, the it, it always seems to be something that is a long distance away, um, that doesn't touch homes, that doesn't touch individuals. But I think what today's really showed us is that this is something we all need to be concerned about, and then the risk is real and it's very present. From high above the football stadium at UC Berkeley, the fault line can be seen with a discolored seam on the turf near the end zone. That same fault that runs through the campus would cause significant damage to critical infrastructure, utilities, and businesses once it erupts. As much work as we've done with resilience and hardening of our facilities, we really can't disaster-proof everything. We can't earthquake-proof everything. So it's important for, for communities to know, for, for businesses that, that operate here, that we are going to have these disruptions. There are things they can do to be more ready for that. How businesses prepare for and respond in the aftermath of an earthquake is imperative in terms of a community resilience. For a company that is invested in its mitigation and preparedness, it's going to be more resilient in that it's going to be able to recover faster, get back to business faster. Preparedness is a multifaceted investment. Earthquake early warning continues to make progress for providing notifications and alerts to the public for impending earthquakes. Those extra seconds could allow for life-saving measures like drop cover and hold on. The investment in readiness really pays off a lot um, for other hazards because it is California and we face a lot of things. We faced a lot of things last year with floods and, and wildfires and um, you know and this is yet another hazard but getting ready for it can really span all of those things. Memorial Stadium here at UC Berkeley has been retrofitted to withstand a massive earthquake. Homeowners and businesses are doing the same because here in California, it's not a matter of if an earthquake strikes, but a matter of when. For Cal OES, I'm Jonathan Goodell. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.